Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada to our north. Tell us about Justin Trudeau. Who is Justin Trudeau? What's going on with Justin Trudeau? Right, so well, the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. Now, what an absurd poser this guy is. He's like a ridiculous figure. Like, you should dislike and resist Justin Trudeau and his government to the maximum extent of your ability. Whatever they're accusing you of doing, they're doing themselves, but more enthusiastically. And that's definitely the story of Justin Trudeau. Like, you should just laugh at him until you can't breathe. That guy's wrecking your country, and I know you take a shit ton of money from him, but he is definitely wrecking it. Like, it's ridiculous. Yes. Are, is that Clark Kent of Superman fame? No, once again, it's just Justin Trudeau. If you're not listening carefully, it might sound like Justin Trudeau just took responsibility for what he did. It's how convincing Justin Trudeau is when he decides to play dress up. They think he's one of them. Justin Trudeau is using that tragedy to disarm anyone who disagrees with him. And then they're subsidizing the media to the point where all of your big media outlets, which are disgusting, are state media because they're taking state cash. Do you... Trudeau has used systematically COVID to short circuit democracy in Canada and to end organized Christianity there. Justin Trudeau declared martial law. He's given himself the power to end the freedom of assembly. He has seized private bank accounts and crypto wallets. He now reserves the right to control all money in the nation of Canada. We're going to reverse global climate change. We're going to vaccinate the world. We're going to end all human prejudice and replace it with equity. We're going to spread democracy to the untutored nations with guns. And they're going to love us for it. We can't imagine a less interesting figure. I mean, he's so uninteresting, he has to dress up in costume to get people's attention. So <laughs> he's not inherently interesting. He can impersonate fictional characters. Do you watch CBC? I do, occasionally. I can turn in any hour of the day and I will learn that I am racist for driving an SUV and not being trans. Here he is looking like a stranded pilot in the desert from one of the Star Wars movies. He's never said an interesting thing. He's never had an interesting thought. I don't even think his divorce is very interesting, and that says a lot. Typically, even boring people have interesting divorces. He Because Justin Trudeau can hide anywhere. He's a master of disguise. That people like Justin Trudeau know that their rule is illegitimate. They know perfectly well how resented they are, and they spend an awful lot of time thinking about civil unrest. Trudeau evacuated his official residence and hid in an undisclosed location. He is still cowering there tonight. Seriously, the guy's like, he's showing up for a costume party when no one else is. There's no costume party and there's Justin Trudeau, like speaking as some sort of moral voice, weird little cross-dresser. So anyway, that's my first piece of advice. He could literally be hiding on a soundstage in Hollywood as we speak. He this kind of violence sponsored by Justin Trudeau continued all day. Please. What the hell is he talking about? What are the chances Justin Trudeau has no idea what he's talking about? He could even be on a ranch, as these pictures demonstrate. Look at that hat. Sir Justin Trudeau got caught wearing blackface, and a lot of people are pretending to be very, very surprised. But are you really surprised? In fact, you probably could have guessed it, actually. In case you haven't noticed, Canada has a lot more violent crime now than it did 20 years ago. Have you noticed? Of course you have. You live here. And they're telling you you can't defend yourself Against that crime, we're going to disarm you. you can't if you see this man in any of his various disguises, do not approach him. He might be hiding in a nondescript cabin in the middle of nowhere, but he's very much in control of Ottawa, at least for the moment. Oh, he's got blackface on. Interesting. El Trudeau right. brags about being a feminist. Use the wrong word in his presence, and he'll launch into a self-righteous lecture. Justin Trudeau may be the most sanctimonious head of state on planet Earth. So, of course, he was leading a secret life as a racist. That's why he's so sanctimonious, so you won't notice. Turns out there are now at least three separate instances of Justin Trudeau wearing blackface. And as he conceded today, there could absolutely be more. Over the span of just a few years, Trudeau has turned a nation long famous for Molson and sled dogs and niceness into a relentlessly punitive surveillance state. He's like, let's say you had some sort of weird prime minister like to dress up in fussy costumes. It would be super important to point that out a lot, like relentlessly. Justin Trudeau will rip your heart out, ladies. We came to bring the fragrance of freedom to the rotting corpse of despotism, and never has a people needed it more, the Canadian people, oppressed by Justin Trudeau. But it doesn't need to be that way. 
So here you have Justin Trudeau ignoring an actual debate about his policies and instead trying to make Canadians hate each other. In fact, I was just be told, I've never actually never said this to anyone, including my wife, but I know that in Canada it's official policy that coming out of the closet is good, unless you're the prime minister. Uh, but it's, I assume that Trudeau, like all authoritarians, like Joe Biden, is making an example of the Coots Four to discourage future protests. That's what Biden did with January 6th. Arrest right. all these people. People are afraid. We haven't had mass protests about anything since January 6th because people know that the FBI will put them in prison. Is Here's Justin Trudeau wearing the traditional headdress of one of Canada's many indigenous tribes. People like Justin Trudeau can feel the deep resentment aimed at them where he accused people who opposed mandatory vaccination, getting a shot because the government requires it, of being racist. Why? We've been telling you all week that Justin Trudeau has ended democracy in Canada, but here's the thing he actually did. Canada is no longer run with the consent of the governed. Far from hey, it. Just there's no media in the world I have more contempt for than the Canadian media. They literally work for the government. They are state media. Yeah. Canada's Botox dictator, Justin Trudeau, wasted no time in using the tragedy in the U.S. to his own political advantage in Canada. I love samosas, Justin says. We do too, say the Indians. They have no idea they're talking to a Canadian. Authorities in Ottawa have announced plans to steal the pets of truck drivers and euthanize them if the drivers are, quote, unable to care for their animals as a result of enforcement actions. We're going to kill your dog. In response, this morning, Justin Trudeau ordered a violent crackdown on them. Thousands of police officers in tactical gear marched into Ottawa. So here he is, looking very much not like a French Canadian. When they arrived downtown, the police shattered truckers' windows and dragged the drivers away. They need several demonstrators in the head. At one point this afternoon, horses began trampling Canadians as they protested. You're seeing that footage on your screen right now. The horses ran over several demonstrators, including a woman on a mobility scooter. Reportedly, one man had a heart attack in the face of all of this, at least one. Instead of helping, the police stood around him. You already control Canada, whose brain-dead prime minister is effectively a Chinese lackey. People have long whispered, in dead seriousness, that Justin Trudeau is the biological son of Fidel Castro. So here's the definition of tyranny. It's oppressing your own citizenry, ignoring the most basic standards of human rights, and then preventing the rest of the world from seeing what you're doing. And that is exactly what Justin Trudeau has done. He's Any place in the world Justin Trudeau could blend in and you'd never know it was him. He's ordered police to target independent media. There aren't many in Canada. That if Canada weren't a country, it would be a remarkable dark comedy. <laughs> and there's no more fearful despot in the world than Justin Trudeau of Canada. Now, we reached out to Justin Trudeau's office today about this new law. We wanted to know if Trudeau will apply these laws to himself. That's always the first and most important test of, sinc of sincerity. And here he is, blending in convincingly as a Bollywood star in India. York, the Trudeau government has so completely overreacted to what appears to be a thoroughly peaceful protest. You know, th this is not a strong government. Justin Trudeau's response to this display of democracy, he fled the city. Can... Can he stop this protest? It, I mean, do you think he can successfully shut it down from wherever he's in hiding right now? It's tyranny, and I hope they continue to resist. And